Hey guys, Colin here from CH Gadgets, and I have the brand new Google Pixel 7 Pro for the past few months now that I've been rocking just like this out of the box. Side note, this is Google's best smartphone that they have ever released since the inception of the Pixel line. And it's also one of the best smartphones on the market right now, 2022, 2023. I also have the previous Pixel 6 Pro, and anyone who has one of these phones know for certain that these phones are shiny and beautiful. But I also know that these phones are slipperier than a wet bar of soap. However, there are a few solutions that have some extra grip, such as a skin or a case. And luckily, Zag just dropped some brand new cases to protect the Pixel 7 series and also for the Pixel 6 series of smartphones. And in this video, I'm going to test out every single color and design for the Pixel 7 Pro. But you can also get the same cases in the Crystal Palace, Denali, Milan and Havana line for the regular Pixel 7 and also for the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. So I'm going to go through all of these and show you what does it look like front, back, side and all the protection that it offers. But at the end of this video, I want to see which one of these offer the most protection for the phone and also which one looks the coolest and finally which one matches my style the most. Also I have the Google Pixel Watch LTE version and I'm going to be checking now the Invisible Shield, Ultra Eco and Ultra Clear screen protector to see which one works best for me and why in a totally separate video. The Invisible Shield Fusion Curve screen protector for the Pixel 7 Pro is also going to be in a separate video so make sure you stay tuned for that. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Zag and no copy approval was granted to anyone that is associated with the company. Translation, all of you shared in this video are my home. All right, let's kick things off with the Milan line of cases from Zag for the Pixel 7 Pro. Just in case you want to know, all of these cases have drop protection and it's right here on the front. Or you can check it out on the website and it also lets you know all the good benefits that you get. This is a D30 protection just in case you get too rugged and enter my microbial protection. You get the picture, pause it and read or just jump on the website. Let's go. And I'm not gonna pick, I'm not gonna sit here and take all of these out of the cases. Just does the first one, I'm popping out of the case. All the other ones, I'm just gonna do it off camera and just show you the results. That's what the case looks like. I already started getting a little fingerprint, but as you can see, let's pop it on and see what it looks like. <sighs> Pixel 7 Pro. There you go. All right, that what it looked like. I like that nice little iridescent look that it gives off when it hits the light. But as you can see, got some ridges on the side to give you that grip that you need. And then right here, you got this, this lip and this extra piece of lip right here to protect your camera when it's sitting on the back. It's really small, keeping it really minimalist, but it does offer some protection. And on the front, how does it look? Got a little lip right here, and right here. I keep your screen from getting scratched up. The button's nice and clicky. All the buttons are nice and clicky. Easily access all the ports. Got access. Microphone. Yeah, I'd say this one, uh, this one looks good. I'm not sure if this one is my favorite just yet. Got to check out some more, but that's what it looks like so far from out of the Milan. And this one is the Aurora. That's why it has that iridescent look. Let's check out some more. So this is what the green swirl looks like on the Pixel 7 Pro. And as you can see, that is the Aurora over there. And this one is the green swirl. So it doesn't have that iridescent look like the Aurora, but it has a similar color. As you can see, it has the same protection for the camera island with a little lip right here and over here 
Um, that also protects the camera. Similar lip, that same lip that protects the screen. Just tell me, what does it look like? Does it look like a win? If you're into this color, this could be the one. All right, let's check out the other one. This is what a black swirl looks like in the Milan case. Is it Milan? Yes. The Milan case with the D30 drop protection. Got the same lips, same protection as the other ones in the Milan line. Same protection for the screen. Buttons just as clicky. Got the same grip. Yeah, so tell me what you think. How does the black swirl look? I'm actually feeling the black swirl a lot more than the other uh, green and Aurora color. But uh, let me know what you think. Let's check out the rest. All right, so this is the Havana line. Let's check them out. This one also offer that D30 drop protection. And this one is rated for 10 feet versus the one, the other one, the Havana, the Milan, I think that was 13 feet. So let's, let's check it out. All right, I'm gonna let you see this one real quick before I put it, the phone inside, but this one is nice. Got that rubber inside, it's really flexible. Showing you that, got that D30 drop protection. Let's get it on the seat. All right, this one is nice. Wow, I didn't expect that. It feels nice. It looks nice and it feels nice. So far, I think this one probably my fave. I don't know, I'm not sure, but it feels really good though. Oof, feels so nice in the hand. Got a nice tactile button feel. This one so far, I think it probably is my fave. However, I think this material might be a little lint collector. I'm not sure just yet, but um, as you can see right here, it's offering that lip protection for the camera. It's pretty minimal. Most of these cases from Zag are pretty minimal, which is my fave. I like minimal cases. And this one, as you can see, has that minimal protection and lip protection, but it actually is effective. It could work. Definitely it can work. For the front, it does have that protection on the side right here and at the top to protect your screen. As you can see, if you look right there, you can see that lip And at the bottom, got that lip. So, got uh, a lot of protection if you put it face down or if you put it on the back. And it um, feels really nice. I don't know. I'm really feeling this one. Let's check out the other one and see. And this one also looks good. I mean, the Havana case overall is a really nice design and it offers a lot of protection. Got a similar lip at the top and the bottom and at the sides. It doesn't really interfere with your swiping, which is pretty good because typically when you have cases with a lip at the side, sometimes you're trying to swipe, it's getting in your way. And so far, it doesn't feel like it's getting in the way. The buttons are really tactile. Got that same lip protection on the back and all the holes are lined up just the same. Yeah, so I mean, overall, I'm really feeling the Havana case. I didn't think I would like these cases because of this little ridge on the back, but that's actually part of the design that actually let it looks really good and feels really good. This is the best feeling ones. The Havana case is the best feeling ones so far, in my opinion. But um, yeah, let's check out the rest. 
All right, so before we move on to the rest of the cases for the Pixel 7 Pro, I have a few of these for the Pixel 6 Pro, which is the Crystal Palace and the Havana for the Pixel 6 Pro. I wanna try these out and see what do they look like. And that's real fancy. That is real fancy. But let's see what it looks like on the Pixel 6 Pro. All right, that's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Just for reference, this was the original Google case that came with it. And um, I was rocking this one. And then now you have this one. What actually looks like a much better one, in my opinion, clear case, but I don't know. Let's get this out of the way. Let's see. All right, so we can see right there that it got some lip protection at the top and the bottom, and it's really minimal, really minimal on the sides, because you know the Pixel 6 Pro has a much deeper curve than the Pixel 7 Pro right here, that the curve is a little bit, a little less than the 6 Pro. So as you can see, you're actually seeing the display the curve right here. buttons are clicky, a little stiff, a little stiff but they're clicky nonetheless. See, let me see, yeah, you got, you got that lip protection right here, all the way around, and also thicker on this side. And it's pretty minimal, that's what I like about these cases, they're pretty minimal. Got the grips on the side, got the ridges, much smaller ridges, Got the cutouts, pretty lined up pretty well. Put a microphone. I'm really liking this one for the Pixel 6 Pro. So you can see the Pixel 6 Pro in all its glory, but it's still protected. And it got some really nice protection. All right, let's check out the other one and see. All right, I mean, it feels, the Havana cases feels really good in the hand. It feels really nice in the hand. Got some nice ridges right here. It's a little sharp on the hedges right here, but I'm pretty sure you can get used to that. Buttons are nice and clicky. Much more clickier than the Crystal Palace case. You got some deep lip right here. Very deep lip at the top and the bottom. Virtually none at the sides almost. But once you put it down, those lips should definitely protect your display. And right here, you got some nice, deep, but minimalist lip protection. Yeah, on the sides. Right here, for the camera highland. And um, yeah, got those grooves. So you still can see the G from the back. Showing you that D30 protection. This one doesn't look bad at all. I'm actually liking it. But I kind of like the Crystal Palace a little bit more because it's a lot more transparent. You can see what's up. But a frosted one, just imagine if it was frosted and clear without the ridges, just like the Crystal. How would that look? All right, let's move on to the rest of the cases, the final cases for the Pixel 7 Pro and see what that looked like. All right, there you go. So that is what the Crystal Palace case looked like on the Pixel 7 Pro. Still reflective as hell. It still has that minimal lip protection for the camera highland. And it go all the way around too. It goes on the top where it's much less and on the sides where it's a little bit more. But it's still offered that protection. You got the ridges right there. Cut out, lined up pretty well. Right there. The buttons, nice and clicky. And then on the front, got that lip protection. It's pretty minimal. It's pretty minimal. It's not as aggressive as the Havana but it's still, still there as you can see it. You can see it hanging over right here, that candle lever over. 
You can see it right here. That's what's up. That's what it looks like. Let me know what you think. How does it look? Still got that D30 protection rating, which is pretty good. And it offers a lot of grip in the hands. I like it. Still reflective as hell. And it's a crazy fingerprint magnet, but it's all right. Let's check out the rest. All right, so the final set of cases that we have to check out is the Denali. This one offers the most drop protection. As you can see, 16 feet drop protection. Still got that D30 protection rating. And we got this one in the gray, the black, and the green. Let's check them out and see what's up. This gray doesn't really look like gray to me, but that's what the inside look like. Kind of like this one. I'm really liking this one a lot more. It's really what the insides look like. Let's put it on and see. This one actually doesn't look bad at all. Hmm. I like that black side buttons. Nice good contrast. The black at the bottom where the cutters are at. Cutters are lined up pretty good as well. Also, where the microphone is at. Yeah. I'm actually feeling this one. As you can see, it does have a little bit right here on the sides, but that's not where you're gonna get the screen protection from at the top and at the bottom. Right here. These cases are really minimal. I like them. That's what I like about zag cases they're really minimal if you want to keep a low profile you don't want those thick bulky looking cases then zag cases you definitely got to check them out so as like i say you got that lip right here and lip right here it doesn't interfere too much with the swiping nope you can still swipe and uh, let me see right here so as you can see right here, this is where you got a little lip protection for your display. And it's also got an inset. It's, as you can see, if you notice, it kind of set inside. So it's protected by the fact that it actually has this inset where it actually curves in. But at the same time, it does offer these lips on the side to give it a little bit more elevation whenever you put it down. So yeah. So that's what look, the gray Denali looks like. And I really like this design. I'm digging this design. And it feels good in the hand. Let's check out the rest and see. I like this color. This color is fire, trust me. All right, so this is the Denali in green and this color looks fire, trust me. I like this color. But I think this one would be perfect for that green pixel. Definitely not this black one, but it actually it can work for the black one. So if you're into green, yeah, definitely. And uh, you got the contrast of that lighter green color on the dark green, which is pretty good. On the gray one, you had the gray with the black buttons and black cutout. But this one, you have that light green cutout and buttons with that dark green, which is pretty cool. I like that is fire. So as you can see, you got the same lip protection right here at the top and the bottom for the display. And then on the back, it's just inset, just like the gray with the lip protection on the sides. And this is what it looks like in the hands right here. Let me know what you think. You feeling this one? All right, this is the Denali in black and it is definitely my favorite case out of all the Zag cases. Just look at that design. It feels hella comfortable in the hands. Really comfortable, nice and grippy and comfortable. I can say for sure that the Denali line is my favorite line and this color is my favorite color. Got a nice little orange accent right here. Make things pop. And it also kind of lines up with the D30 protection right there. As you can see, it's pretty nice. It's also still inset, just like 
the rest kind of got that little inset where it's kind of inset in and it got that lip protection really really thick lip protection i think this one the denali line of cases offers the most protection to the camera highland because it actually has that inset but at the same time it gives you that lip protection on both sides so that when you put it down it won't be scratching up your lens all the cutouts are lined up properly as you can see both top and bottom i think this one i'm gonna ride with because i mean just look at it this is the best looking design in all the lines and the Zag Pixel 7 Pro cases, Pixel 7 and 7 Pro cases. And it's actually the best style and the color of the smartphone. Looks pretty good. It's offering the same lip protection for the display. And this one actually offers the most, the highest rating in the drop protection. So, so far, I think I'll find a winner in all the cases that I've tried. This one, this one I think. This is the winner right here. All right, as you can see, we went through about 11 to 12 cases from Zag in the Denali, Havana, and Milan in the Crystal Palace line. And we came out with a winner, as you can see, the Denali in the black with that orange accent took the winnings for the Pixel 7 Pro. And we actually just actually just decided because of how it actually shows off the Pixel 6 Pro, the Crystal Palace on the Pixel 6 Pro is the winner. They do offer a limited warranty on these cases. And this one is rated for about six, 16 feet of drop protection. It does have the anchor antimicrobial protection, which protects it from odor and other kind of stuff that might make your case get nasty. It's the same for all of them. They offer the same proprietary mi antimicrobial protection. Um, yeah, I think this one is pretty good. It offers the most protection for the camera highland and it offers the most lip protection to protect the display. And so far it actually feels like it's the thickest one that still maintain a minimalist profile for the Pixel 7 Pro, which means that this is, to me, the best protection out of all of these cases. But you can choose what you want. You can decide for yourself if the Havana is, is the one that you like. I really like the design of the Havana. As a matter of fact, I might just go back and forth between the black Havana and the black Denali. I'm not sure just yet. And um, the Milan also look good. Crystal Palace in this uh, for the Pixel 7 Pro also look good but it's a little bit too shiny and glossy for me. So I'm just gonna stick with the Denali. All right, so I'm gonna leave links to all of these cases so you can check them out individually for yourself. Pick out the one that you like and also make sure you stay tuned, come back for the Pixel Watch screen protector and the screen protector for the Pixel 7 Pro and the Pixel 6 Pro. Please hit the like button on your way out. And if you're feeling generous, leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know which one of these cases are your favorite. And if you want to see more videos like these, hit right here to get subscribed and check out one of these other videos that I leave right here for you. Peace.